welcome to this week's Leadership Minute. The question that I have this week is, how does a leader enforce strictness and efficiency in a respectful manner? Well, it's kind of a double-edged answer that I'm going to give you. The first one is that if, as a leader, you have done your hiring and your onboarding and your development of your team correctly, then you'll discover that your team takes ownership and they're engaged in virtually everything that you have to do in the business. And strictness and efficiency is something that you don't rarely have to talk about. However, on those odd times when you've got a really, really tough project and for whatever reason you have individuals or a group or the entire team that's not quite hitting the target and delivering the results that you need, you need to follow a very, very simple process. And the process is really simple. First and foremost is that the team needs to understand what the big picture is. That's one. The second thing is the team needs to understand is why. Why is it that we're doing this in a certain way? Then I like to involve the team in the planning of the particular project that we have to do. I've discovered that when the team's involved in the planning piece of it, that they'll take much more ownership and they're far more engaged and their performance will amaze and astound you. On those odd times though, when the team is missing those targets or missing deadlines, one of the things that I will do is just a simple review. And I'll quite simply say something like, Bob, we've talked about this in last week's meeting where this particular week you committed to delivering X, Y, and Z to the project on behalf of the entire team. Now what happened in order for you to miss those targets? And then I'll get some feedback from, from that individual and then I'll say, that's great. Now, can you commit to making sure that by next week's review session that you've got this completed and as well as the rest of the stuff that we have to get done? Then I'll get that commitment. Rarely, very, very rarely will the employee or that team member not blow me away by delivering exactly what it is that we're looking for. Occasionally though, there might actually be a performance problem. There might actually be a cultural misfit or a values misalignment. Then you have to go to what I call the dark side of leadership and work on a development plan and eventually you might even have to manage them out. As they say at Netflix, you might have to prepare for them a generous separation package and do it quickly. So it starts at the very beginning and making sure that the team is hired correctly. They fit the values, they, they're aligned in terms of the culture. You have involved them in the big picture, the why or the purpose, the planning, and on those odd times, review and get their commitment back from them. I think if you follow those steps, you'll be amazed at the results that you get from the team. Thank you very much. Talk to you next week.